So yesterday, I showed off this 91 overall Adley Rutschman that I got without spending a single stub. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. But first, let's take a look at why you would even want to complete this collection. He has 90 and 91 contact, 80 and 78 power. He's a switch hitter with a really good swing, 85 fielding, 85 arm. He's probably the third best catcher in the game, right behind Joe Maurer and Gary Carter. But both those cards are well over 200k, where Adley Rutschman, you can get completely free. So first, we're gonna go into Conquest. I know, I know, not everybody's favorite, but this Face of the Franchise West Conquest map, this is one Conquest map I recommend doing. And trust me, I'm not one to say you should be playing Conquest. We went over the Hidden Rewards a couple days ago. If you haven't seen that video yet, the card should be right above me. Definitely check that out, see if it's worth it or not for you. But when you complete this, you get 30k XP towards the Face of the Franchise program. So if you haven't completed that, that right there is worth it. But if you complete the entire American League West, you will get a Prospect Choice pack for the AL West. Same with the NL West, and then once you complete it, you might as well get the rest of the squares, and you'll get ball in this habit, so definitely worth it in its own. So that right there is four prospects, takes about two hours to do. There's a way that you can completely avoid this if you don't want to play Conquest. I'm just throwing it in here because I think the 30k XP, the two total ball in this habit packs, plus the four total prospects is 100% worth it to do for this map. Doesn't take too long, about two hours or so. But like I said, you can completely avoid Conquest if you want, and how I got this done was playing a another offline mode in mini seasons. I actually went over this video a couple days ago as well, but I talked about it being an XP glitch and an unlimited stub making method, which it is. But if you're also looking to get this 91 overall Adley Rutschman done for completely free, this is how you're gonna do it. You see all these losses that I have? I'm not the best at the game, but there's no way in hell I'm losing four straight games on rookie. But you see that bottom collection that I've done that's complete? In a single season, hit 10 home runs with all-star series players. You get a prospect choice pack. Here's a look at the pack once you complete that mission. You also see the 6,000 XP I got from that game, plus you get 3,000 for completing this mission. So really, you're killing two birds, one stone there. You're getting about five to 6,000 XP, plus you're getting this prospect pack. And here's a look of what's in the pack. You'll have about six prospects to choose from. You get to choose two of them. And the reason I have four losses here is you were seeing we are playing at the Wales. I don't want that. I need to be the home team. So I hop into that game, quit right away. Same with this one. Then we get to the lemurs where I'm the home team. I ended up paying nine home runs in this one game. I didn't want to play the top third. I was up so much, so I quit all that. The stats still track. And then I happened to this one, hit the one home run, and then you quit out. So in the span of one to two games tops, you'll have this done. You need to go to your lineup and put all All-Star Series players in. There's a good amount you can get for either cheap or just from playing the game. This Ralph Kiner, Babe Ruth, Michael Young, David Dahl, Jim Edmonds, Jason Castro. I've got all these guys just from playing the game. I completed the Justin Morneau and the Kevin Euclid collections, which are going to be the Twins and the Red Sox Live Series collections. But you take a look, there's a decent amount of All-Star Series players that you can get from playing the game. So get as many All-Star Series players as you can, plug them into your lineup, and then before we even go into a game, you need to go to Stadium Creator. And the stadium you are going to be looking for is Blank Canvas. You need to save this one. I didn't make this one. Gomes the Legend made it. So I'll link his channel down in the description below, but 100% you need to download this. You are playing at a max elevation ballpark, so think Colorado. The ball's gonna fly in itself right there. And then the left field wall, it's like 270 down the line. I think 350-ish to center, and a little over 300 down right. So you're playing at a little league ballpark with max elevation, and you're gonna be playing these games on rookie. That's how you can get this done in one game. You can get the 10 home runs in probably 10 minutes or so. So once again, this ballpark's gonna be blank canvas, and you see the elevation right there. Like I said, it's basically like we're playing at Coors Field in Colorado, except a Little League field in Colorado. I'm also showing this because I believe it's really hidden. So you see that I completed the 10 home runs already for the season. When you do that, you'll see right below me, it says press square for a new season. You gotta be on this like main screen right here. And when I press square, I can start a fresh season and I can keep doing this method over and over and over again. And every time they do that, I'm gonna get that same prospect choice back with about six prospect cards and I get to pick two of them. Or maybe it's eight, I can't remember. Whatever it is, I know you get to pick two of them. So it's a possibility once you get to the end, you're not going to be able to get two new ones. So if that happens, obviously sell one of them and then you can buy the other one. So it really evens out that you're still not spending any stubs. And this is what's stupid. You see here, we start off for Florida's at their park then we play at the Lemurs park. And then finally the fifth game, we're the home team. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop into this game. Doesn't matter difficulty. Doesn't matter who you pitch because I feel like they never lose energy in this shit. And then once you get here, you just got to quit out. This season doesn't matter. So 
all the L's, it, like, who cares? We just gotta do this three more times now. 2,000 years later. Okay, we're finally the home team. You download the blank canvas stadium. Your lineup's full of all-star players. So when you hop into here, you churn the difficulty on a rookie, and then your created stadium should be there. You see, we got the blank canvas. We're obviously gonna be using that. But of course, since we're the home team, we're obviously gonna be starting on the mound first. So after you're done pitching, you obviously come up to bat and you just hit bombs. And of course, we gotta face Randy Johnson. But the best part is, you're on rookie, max elevation, in a tiny ballpark. So you don't even need to hit the ball good for it to go over. You just gotta hit it in the air and not hit it on the ground. God damn it. Oh, there's one. We absolutely crushed that one to left field. And you know what? I'm just gonna quit out because I want to show you that these stats still track. But if you're facing somebody that's not freaking Randy Johnson, you can get this done in one game easily. Two at the very most. You'll probably hit eight, nine home runs, and then you'll have to jump into one more and get it done in the first inning. So you see below me, even though we quit out that game, we still got credit for that home run. So once you get the 10 home runs, you can just quit. You're good. This season doesn't matter. And then you start a new one. And then when you complete it you just go over here press square start a fresh season and you're back to square one but that is how i got all my prospect cards you don't need any of the diamond prospect cards to get this done you can get a majority of the golds and you'll be set which is nice because a lot of these cards are going for about three and a half k so this collection's still going for around eighty-five thousand stubs so hell if you don't want to complete this collection when you get all these cards hell you're gonna have about 80k stubs i recommend it this card looks really good probably third best catcher in the game and like i said it'll probably take you about three hours give or take few minutes here to complete this which i don't think is bad at all for a card as good as this and i also did the face of the franchise west conquest map so right there i got like four cards as well but i think that 30k xp is worth it but that's how i got this collection done hopefully it helped you out let me know in the comment section if you're gonna do it once again 100 recommend definitely do the face of the franchise west we're gonna have a new one dropping on tuesday so i'm assuming it'll be the same thing you'll be able to get the prospect packs plus 30k xp and then the mini seasons method i just showed you it's the easiest way to get xp stubs and this collection done so be sure to like this video if it helped you out subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out